May you find happiness and peace. And may your home stand the test of time. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary. Today I'll be reacting to a trans EMT challenge math what? To a debate on biology. Wow guys, so without further ado, let's get started. How would you define a woman? Because you've asked other uh, people up here to define how we would define a woman. How would you define a woman, Mr. Walsh? Uh, an adult human female. And how don't trans people, how doesn't a transgender woman fit that definition? Female. Because they're not, they're not female. They, they, they have, they have, you said that you are a biological male, correct? I said I'm transgender. Um, I might be intersex for all we know. About uh, almost as many people in the world are transgender as intersex. And well, a lot of people don't know. Well, but that's a different conversation. Intersex, that's a genetic anomaly, that's a medical condition. So let, that's a completely different conversation. That's also not a, that's not a third gender. That's just a, that's a genetic anomaly that occurs within the sex binary of male and female. Um, a, so you, what you're saying is that a quote unquote trans woman is a female. By the definitions I'm familiar with, yes. Wow. So how would you define female? Through my training in healthcare, there are several different categories for how we define sex. People bring up pr chromosomes. People also bring up hormone levels. People bring up all sorts of other categories. Lots of people don't fit neatly into a gender binary, even people we don't consider to be intersex. It's a complicated spectrum. It, it's not complicated, but you also didn't, you also didn't define, so, so what is... What is a woman? What is a woman? What is a female? What, are, what do these words mean? It's complicated, and I know you're not going to like that answer, but that's because there are no simple answers in human biology. Let me ask you a question. You guys, well, you one hang question. on, I, just let me finish. You guys like to bring up high school level biology classes wow. a lot. I get that a lot, but people who go on to more complicated biology classes will talk about sex as a spectrum. It's not. It's not. Well, biological researchers would disagree with you. Well, and they're full of shit, the ones that would say that. There's, look. Wow, that was. There are. All right. There are male gametes and female gametes. Oh, I had one, I had one last question. I, I just have one, I have one quick, can, we, can, we, can you come back for one second? Because this is an important question. You said you're an EMT. Okay, if you're responding, you're responding to a health emergency. Biological male, somebody with a penis, is uh, is having a medical emergency. Okay, and they say to you, um, "I think I'm having a miscarriage." Would you would you check them to see if they're having a miscarriage? Would you consider that a possibility for them? Nice, <laughs> smart question. No, but that's because some people don't have body parts. Doesn't mean they're not a woman. Okay. Sounds like we've established there are some people who in principle can get pregnant and there are some people who can't. So there's two categories, otherwise known as binary. Lots of women can't get pregnant either. Yeah, but they're still of the nature to get pregnant. The only but reason, they can't get pregnant. Yes, but truth they, matters, right? It it does. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. Truth matters, and they can't okay. get pregnant. I, That's the truth. So how are they still women? Because they are. For for this for the same reason for the for the same reason that I that I can rightly say that human beings have two legs, and if a person is born with only one leg. That doesn't call into question the statement that human beings have two legs, okay? A person being born with one leg doesn't mean that now legs are on a spectrum and we can't say, we can't say anything at all about how many legs a person has. Who knows, they could, have, they could be a centipede. You know, they could, have a, they could have a hundred legs. No, we know human beings have two legs. If a human is born without two legs, 
something went wrong. They were supposed to have that second leg, something went wrong. If you, if you, if you meet a person on the street who only has one leg, maybe, maybe they had an accident, maybe they were in war, maybe, maybe, some, you know, maybe they were in a car accident, maybe they had cancer, a leg was cut off. But you know that something went wrong because of the, by their nature, they're supposed to have two legs. Same thing for a woman. A woman by her nature can get pregnant. A man by his nature never can. So if you meet a woman of childbearing age, say she's 28 years old and she can't get pregnant, you know automatically that something has gone wrong. And she can go to the doctor and find out what that thing is, even if they can't fix it. So that proves that women by their nature can get pregnant because the simple fact that she can't shows you that there is something wrong. This is what is known as the exception that proves the rule. Whereas if a male with a penis can't get pregnant, no doctor on earth is going to run tests to see what's wrong with him. <laughs> because they already know it's that he's a male and there's only male and female, those who can get pregnant, that's those who true. can't. So, I, that's it. That's... You know, I have watched several you know, people talk about this kind of sensitive issue. But when it comes to Matt, he has a very brilliant way of answering your question. Like, he he tries to make you see reason why what you are doing you are not supposed to do it you know he don't just impose the answer on you you know he gives you explanation you know that will make you feel comfortable about you know the question you ask him and that is one thing everyone is looking for you know you want to go out there being in the crowd you know pour out your heart you know let the world know that this is what i feel about what i believe in and if you don't like agree with me you can you can actually you know give me a reason why you don't agree with me and matt is the right guy to do that because he's going to break it down for you in a simpler form you know in a way that you you reason you know with yourself you ask yourself okay i think i think it's right you see at the end of the day i noticed the the trans guy did not push any further because he he felt like yes i think he has answered my question and it's true you know um we are all built differently we are human, so if if you see another human with one eye, you know there's something wrong. If you see a woman that is extremely short, you know there's something wrong. If you see someone that is, that is extremely tall, there's something wrong. You know, sometimes when you check some race, they have like kind of an average height range that they all get to. If you check some, some, some race, they also have some skin tone that they are familiar with. So when you give birth to someone that does not fit that skin tone, people feel like, nah, I think this child is not supposed to be here or this child or some, something went wrong in the process, you see? So that is what Matt is trying to say. So if you are a man and you identify yourself as a woman, which he, I don't think he has anything wrong with that. The thing is, we all know you're a man. That is the truth. You just choose to be a woman. And he's saying that, you are picking the wrong gender to, 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 to identify yourself as because we all see you as a man. You know, you're not, you're not fooling anyone. You can decide to act like one, behave like one, or whatever way you, you choose to, you know, display yourself, but you're still a man. So you can decide to be a man and act that way. No one is going to kill you. You know, it's like, um, how will I explain it? It's like, I, I see a beautiful house and not, I'm not claiming ownership of that house. I feel like I'm telling everyone around, yes, I'm the owner of this house. Call me the landlord of this house. Whereas I don't fit into the house. I don't own the house. That is what I'm seeing here. I see like you are trying to claim another, you know, gender. Whereas people are already on that gender. I think that is why it is called trans. You just, I'm a trans. I don't think there's anything wrong there. Like just be proud of who you are. Don't just, I know, yes, you, you, you have that urge. You feel like you are more closer to a female you know, sex than a male sex. I, I get it. But I wish we'd get a unique name so that it will stop messing things up because I want women to be identified as, you know, women. I want them to be able to participate in their own games. I want them to be able to see themselves their own way without anyone competing with them. And also guys too. If I, We also have trans women that want to be guys. I, I just want men to be comfortable with being a man. You know, if you if you feel like you have qualities of a woman, or you see like yeah, from as you're growing up, you you're, you're still as a beating of characters. You, you know, you, you see yourself as a female. Well, no one, you know, at at least in Africa, it's 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 a crime. But you know, in the Western world, you're free to do that.
So no one is asking you to not do that, you know. At least they have, you know, free, free will. You can, you can be yourself. You can identify as whoever you want to identify. But stop making things, like, stop confusing people. Or stop claiming what you are not, you know. If, if you are free to see yourself as a woman. And I'm also free to identify you as a man. There's a free word. So let's just accept and be happy with each other. Anyway, there's a beautiful one coming from Mart. I love the way he break down the definition of a woman and also elaborates on it and also make the, 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 the guy see reason why, you know, he's, you know, he needs to rethink about, you know, how he identify himself or how he define himself. Anyway, like I said before, it's a beautiful one. Let me know what you think in the comment section. If it's your first time visiting the channel, click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and remember bless.